Hey kiddos, welcome back. In our last video, I hope you recall, we wrote the equilibrium expression for water. We said it was the hydrogen ion concentration times the hydroxide concentration, and that equaled 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. Now this number here, kiddos, remember, is a constant which means it's not going to change. So if we know either the hydrogen ion concentration or the hydroxide ion concentration, we should be able to calculate the one that's missing. So um, let's go ahead and uh, do example number two. And we are going to find the hydroxide concentration um, in a cup of coffee that has a hydrogen ion concentration of 1 times 10 to the negative fifth. Now this question here, is coffee acidic, basic, or neutral? We should also be able to answer because we're going to find out which concentration is higher, the hydrogen ion concentration or hydroxide ion concentration. And if the hydrogen ion concentration is greater, we know it's going to be acidic. If the hydroxide concentration is bigger, we know it's going to be basic. And if the two are equal, then we know it would be neutral. Okay? So, we know the hydrogen ion concentration in my cup of coffee is 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth moles per liter. So, using this equation, let's see if we can solve for the hydroxide ion concentration. I hope you would agree that that would be equal to Kw over the hydrogen ion concentration. And we know those two numbers. Kw is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. Remember that, folks? And the hydrogen ion concentration was given as 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth. Now, we should be able to do this without a calculator. Um, we have 10 to the negative 14th divided by 10 to the negative fifth. And when you divide numbers expressed in scientific form, these powers of 10 are subtracted from each other. So we have a negative 14 minus a negative 5, and that's going to take us to 10 to the negative 9. So we end up with 1.0 times 10 to the negative 9th moles per liter of hydroxide ions. So now we have to decide whether that's acidic, basic, or neutral. So how are we going to do that? Well, we have to find out which concentration is bigger, right? So we know the hydroxide concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 9th. The hydrogen ion concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 5th. Seems to me like the hydrogen ion concentration is bigger, so I would say that that solution is acidic. In fact, it turns out that the hydrogen ion concentration is 4 powers of 10 bigger. 10 to the negative fifth compared to 10 to the negative ninth, which is, what, 10,000 times greater. All right, now that I've shown you how to do one, why don't you try one on your own? Take a minute and do example three without my help. I want you to find the hydroxide concentration, and I'm giving you the hydrogen ion concentration. So pause the video, get your calculator out, and give this one a whirl. See you in a sec. Okay, welcome back. Same type of problem, we're going to solve for the hydroxide concentration, which is going to be Kw over the hydrogen ion concentration. So Kw is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. Now I portray that as having two significant figures, but in reality it has an infinite number of sig figs. We'll divide that by 3.68 times 10 to the negative fifth. So let's pull out our calculators here. We have uh, 1 second EE to the negative 14, or you could just do 10 karat key, negative 14, divided by 3.68 second EE negative 5. So I end up with 2.72 times 10 to the negative 10th moles of hydroxide ions per liter. And once again, um, the hydrogen ion concentration 
is greater than the hydroxide ion concentration. So I would say this solution is also acidic. Now, what if we end up with a weak base? Now this one's interesting. I want to find the hydrogen ion concentration and the hydroxide ion concentration if I have a weak base, NH4OH. Now the original concentration of that is 0.65 moles per liter. So we end up with this happening, NH4OH AQ forming NH4 plus ions and hydroxide ions in water. Now the Kb for that, that's the equilibrium constant for this weak base, is 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. So I want to find out what this hydroxide concentration is when I reach equilibrium. Now this is a bit different than the problems we were just doing. This is an icebox problem. So I'm going to start with I, initial, then change, and equilibrium concentrations. So initially, my ammonium hydroxide concentration is 0.65 molar, and I don't have any of those to begin with. I know that this goes down by a certain amount, and that this would go up by that amount, and so would the hydroxides. So at equilibrium, I would have 0.65 moles per liter minus x of my ammonium hydroxide, which, by the way, oftentimes is written as ammonia in water. I have x moles per liter of ammonium ions and x moles per liter of hydroxide ions. So if I write the expression for this reaction, I have NH4 plus concentration at equilibrium on top times the hydroxide concentration all over the ammonium hydroxide concentration. And I have some numbers for that, don't I? I have Kb, 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth equals the ammonium concentration is x, the hydroxide concentration is x, and the ammonium, ammonium hydroxide is 0.65 minus x. Now, I'm going to teach you a little trick here. Since this equilibrium constant is so small, that's 10 to the negative fifth, and we're going to define small as 10 to the negative fourth, or smaller. Since that equilibrium constant is so small, doesn't that mean I make very, very little product? Yeah, that means x, in this case, is going to be really, really small. So small that when I subtract it from my original concentration of ammonium hydroxide, it's not going to affect it significantly. So what we're going to do is when our equilibrium constant is 10 to the negative fourth or smaller, we are going to neglect the x when it's added or subtracted. Now we're going to neglect it because um, the size is so small that when I subtract it, in this case from 0.65, and I round off to the nearest hundredth, I'm still going to end up with 0.65. Now that's going to make the math a lot easier. So we can make that disappear for now. And we can solve for x much, easily, much more easily. We're going to multiply both sides by 0.65. And then we have x times x on top, which is x squared. So we'll take the square root of that answer. So x would equal, let's see, 0.65 times 1.8 second ee to the negative fifth. Now actually that would be x squared would equal this. 1.17 times 10 to the negative fifth. So x, which would be my hydroxide ion concentration, would be the square root of that. So we'll take the square root of that, so second square root of my answer, and I get 0 0.0034 moles per liter. So you can see when I take x, 0 0.0034, and if I were to subtract it from my 0.65, I would still end up with 0.65. Now, I also want the hydrogen ion concentration. So how would I find the hydrogen ion concentration if I know the hydroxide? 
That's right. It would be Kw over the hydroxide concentration in this case, wouldn't it? So Kw, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th, all over the hydroxide, which we just solved for, 0 0.0034. Let's see what that gives us. So we have 1 second EE to the negative 14 divided by 0 0.0034, and we end up with 2.9 times 10 to the negative 12 moles per liter of hydrogen ions. So this solution would be basic. The reason for that is the hydroxide concentration is greater than the hydrogen ion concentration. Okay? All right. Now our next video is going to be really, really important. We're going to talk about calculating something called pH, which I'm sure you've all heard of, and pOH, which you may not have heard of before. It's really important that you all understand how to do this, so you might want to watch the next video a couple of times, one of the most important ones we do in this unit. So we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.